Hey, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Kuat NV 2.0 on our 2019 Ram 1500. It's going to be a platform style bike rack, so that means it's going to hold the bike by the tire up here. So no frame contact whatsoever, so it's going to be good for various different bikes, mountain bikes, the road bikes, even carbon fiber bikes. Usually with these platform styles, they have the center hook here in the middle, and it can come down and make that frame contact, which you don't want to damage your frame at all. Now since it hangs by the tire, it's holding it by the tire, it's not going to have any frame contact, so you're all good then. It really opens it up for those different kinds of bikes. Even the cradles down here are ready to go with the smaller indention here in the middle. That's for road bike tires, and it gets slightly bigger as it goes to accommodate other tires for other bikes. It even has a 60-pound weight capacity per bike, so some of those e-bikes you can handle just fine too. So the thing about on the back of your Ram, though, is it does block the taillights a little bit. You probably can see it here on the sides, especially with two bikes on there, that's gonna even cover it up more. You'll probably lose your backup camera as well with a second bike, because it looks like it's pointed right down there at the bike rack, so just keep that in mind when you're going to use this. However, it does tilt away. You cannot get access to the tailgate, so let's go ahead and check that out now. So how you would tilt it away, you just come here, probably grab it by this, or right under here is what I like to do just to have a better hold on it. You pull this, tab and it'll lower away and normally that's so you can get access to the back of your vehicle with the bike loaded still now our tailgate doesn't quite open all the way you can get some access but it stops right about there before it makes contact with the tire of the bike so if you had the tongue cover undone and you need to get in here you can still reach in and grab something so it is somewhat helpful but you just can't lower the tailgate all the way Another included feature is going to be this cable lock. I like that it's integrated into the bike rack, so it's not something that's separate that you have to remember to grab out of the back of the car, or the back of their truck, or remember to grab in the garage. It's always going to be there with your bike rack. That way you can lock your bikes to the rack. Now let's go over how it sits on the bike rack. So it holds the tire by this hook up front, and then back here there's going to be a wheel strap. So we'll undo that real quick. You just push it, and it pulls right back out. Very easy. And when you go to put it back in there, you're just push it through, you can hear it ratcheting as you pull it tight. But we're taking it off, so let's just back that out and get it out of the way. Then we'll come up to the front hook. You just depress this button right here, releases it. You can slide the hook up so it unlatches, it takes that pressure on the tire, and just folds it to the side. Now, the cool thing is, since there's not a center mass, I can just grab this bike and pull it right towards me, and it makes it loading and unloading way easier. Another note about the wheel strap here, it can slide along the rack so it can adjust to different wheel bases. The bike we had on there, there's a mountain bike, it had a 47 inch wheel base, so we had to adjust it and push it all the way to the end to get it to work. Now let's get some measurements. We're gonna go from the bumper, the further top point of the bike rack. So it looks like from there to about here, it's gonna be 33 inches. So it's gonna stick out that much. Be careful when you're backing out of tight spaces or even pulling your garage, you wanna shut the garage down on your bike rack. Now that same spot, let's see how close it is to your bumper. Looks like this would be it here, about nine inches of space. So there's still some space if you needed to load the bike this way, put it on there, but not a whole lot. But you don't have to worry about it making contact with your bumper. It's pretty far out from that. Another thing we always like to do is ground clearance. So we'll go from the ground to the bottom of the rack, looks like it's about there, uh, 28 and a half inches from the ground, so you shouldn't have any problems. Your truck's pretty high up, the hitch is too, but we always like to warn people and watch out for those steep driveways or hills. Now we can take up a little bit of that space that sticks out by folding it up to the truck. So it's the same, pull that tab, or that lever, sorry, as you did last time, folds up towards the back of the truck, and now it's gonna take up far less space. So we'll go from the bumper again, all the way back to the knob here. It's gonna be about 15 and a half inches. So that saves you quite a bit of space. With the fold up, we can talk about a few other things. The bike repair stand here at the top is something you can use to pull that out. Hold your bike and repair it if you need that. If that's not something that you think you'll need, there is a base version of this without the bike repair stand. So I would recommend looking that up too. If this is something that you're not gonna work with or don't think you're going to use. This also comes in a few different colors as well. It's going to come in gunmetal gray, which we have here, and it's also metallic black. Coming down here at the bottom, 
It's got an anti-rattle device built into it. I like it. And it's also toolless to get it set up. So what I do here is just loosen this. I want to show you how it works. This is disengaging the anti-rattle. You can see how much that bike rack moves back and forth. So we go to tighten this down by hand. I'll show you that. Now I can shake the whole truck back and forth and there's no rattling in the base of the bike rack. So I really like that, especially when I don't have to use tools. I can use my hand here on this knob. That's great. And you have the hitch pin up here. Also has a lock and key, which is key to like to the cable locks that are built into the trays here. So you can lock the bike to your hitch or sorry, lock the rack to your hitch and your bike's the rack. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Overall, I like the NV 2.0. It's a good platform style bike rack. I like that it holds the bikes by the tires and not the frame. That center mass is out of the way. It's easy to load and unload. I think it's gonna work out great. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.